Hi, welcome to another Kitos tutorial. Today we're going to learn about how to create an Intune Scap CA using EasyCA. First thing we have to do is go to our documentation. I'm going to link it down below and register the Intune application. This will give EasyCA permissions into your Intune portal. And to do that, all you have to do is go to our documentation page, click this link with a global administrator, log in, click accept, and you're good to go. So once we do that, uh, we're going to go to easy CA and create our Intune CA. Even if you already use your smart card CAs and everything with easy CA, you will have to create your own Intune CA. So first thing we do is go here, select CA type, we're going to select root CA and here we're going to name it whatever we want. And you can set up your organization, OU and country code. We're going to, for this one, you can only use RSA keys. So I would use either, I, I would prefer using the 4,000 RSA key, but if you need to use a 2000 because your devices don't support it, select that one. And here you're going to enter your notification email. So all your PKI admins will get emails whenever there's a problem with the CA, but um, you can add an extra alias to it. Uh, we'll leave this Krill and everything as is. And in here it's very important to select SCAP template. And in here you select the maximum days that you want the certificates to be. In here I honestly recommend doing 60 days to 90 days just so devices get their new certificates very often and your revocation list doesn't get very long. And then location, you're going to select your location and we're going to click create. So now we have our CA, we're going to download the certificate. Once we have created our CA, we're going to go in another tab to aka.ms Intune portal. And we're going to log in with our Intune credential. And in here, we're going to go to devices. And in this case, we're going to set up a Windows device, but you can do the same for Mac, OS, and all this information is also in the EZCA documentation, Intune, you can just follow these steps for all your devices. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Windows, we're gonna do uh, configuration profiles, select the platform, and in here we're gonna do trusted certificate. So what this is gonna do is add the CA certificate, add the CA certificate to your trusted root stores in all your devices that are assigned to this policy. So in here, we're going to select it and we're going to select to add it to the computer certificate root store. And in here, in this case, we're going to assign it to all users and all devices. And we're going to click next and we're going to click review and create. Once this is created, now we have to create the SCEP policy. And to do that, we go to templates. Here we type SCEP and we name it uh, what we want it to be named click next. And in here you can select the certificate type. In this case, we're going to do user. And in the documentation, we actually tell you kind of which one to select. So this is for devices. And for users, we leave the subject name we leave as is and then we add a subject alternate name with UPN. So in here we select UPN and we paste user principal name key store provider in here, you select the security you want. So if you want it to be only in a TPM or if you want software or TPM, uh, this up to your security and compliance, the certificate validity period. So make sure this one matches whatever you set up in EZCA. What do you want the key usage to be used for? The size, always choose the biggest one just so it's more secure. Hashing algorithm, SHA-2. Here we select the root certificate we created. So the Intune CA standard key usages. So in here you can do client authentication, the renewal threshold, how much of lifetime left you want it to be renewed. And then for the SCEP server URL, we go back to EZCA, go to view my CAs, click the Intune CA view requirements. We're going to copy that SCEP URL. We're going to save it. And then we're going to go next, add the users that you want to add. In this case, we're just going to do all users, all devices. We're going to do next, next, review and create. And now any new device that you into an enroll, it will get the certificate from EZCA and it will automatically renew it. So that's how you, that's how easy it is to enroll SCEP certificates with EZCA and Intune. 
Hope this gets you one step closer to being fully passwordless.